Hello everybody, it's the Laser Wizard, and we got some super exciting stuff today. I just received Fox Aliens' latest and greatest iteration of their laser module from a completely different factory, their latest 15 water, and it uses some sort of spot compression technology, and I believe it might be, I'm not too sure, I don't know much about what optics are involved. It's a fixed focus lens and it's about set to exactly 30 millimeters. I, I checked it and it's got a very tight beam. When I go up and down a few millimeters, that beam stays pretty tight and I think it cuts very, very well. So. So, you know, supposedly a 15 water, the optical output they told me is about 5 to 5.5 watts um, compared to the previous 7 watts out, but that is because of the losses that occur uh, when you try to correct beam shape with you know, better optics. So this might be a multi-element lens, I'm not sure. Um, what I do know is that my preliminary tests uh, show that this thing cuts extremely well. Um, I made my own little air assist nozzle and I think it works very very well and it's got a nice strong blast and we're gonna test it out again today on a piece of solid poplar wood quarter inch but it's actually technically a little bit thicker than that uh, about 6.85 millimeters or 2.8 67 inches um, solid woods cut much easier than plywood plywood will have defects and voids and problems but this quarter inch should cut pretty easily I'm just gonna throw it right in here and this actually makes focusing the beam super super simple what I do I got a ruler here which I actually I laser engraved the laser engraver is extremely accurate and I've got it cut off right at the zero line Focus it right there. That's about 29 millimeters, but I mean we're cutting through almost seven millimeters of wood. Ideally, I found it's best to have the beam focused right on the surface. I feel once those edges are cut and charred, they seem to like collimate the beam anyway. And the beautiful thing about this, you know, beam shape coming out of this lens is that even though you're losing a little bit of power, you're getting all that power right where you want it. So we'll see how well this thing cuts. So I'm just going to zero it out right there. And let's see, I'll show you guys the file I'm going to be playing with here. I've got this little Fox Alien logo I made and I split up the layers. Uh, I'm not sure how many passes it's going to take to cut through. So I've got this layer here. Just the one eyeball and I've got it set to 400 millimeters a minute full power and eight passes and we're gonna run it and we're gonna count how many passes it takes until that little eyeball drops through and then once we know that value then we'll swap over to the rest of it and bring those number of passes where they need to be and we're not wasting passes um, first or I might not even bother is the engraving I was gonna do an engraving on it maybe I'll run it after I cut it but let's try this eyeball right here and I'm gonna stick the camera back on my tripod all right I have turned on fans in my window for fume extraction and hopefully it's a nice camera angle. I took the shielding off the front of my machine so that 
you guys can see the beam coming out because it's pretty nifty to see and I made a mistake making this nozzle I cut through here through the brass and I had to fill it with super glue but kind of gives a nice effect to look below it so first I'm gonna run the eyeball we'll see how many passes it takes to cut through it and then I'll run the rest of it Okay, that's number six and it just fell through so I'm gonna set it to seven passes you want to take a look at it right there it fell right through so I'm gonna set it to seven passes and then I'm gonna run the rest of the guy I always like to give it one extra pass than what you know kind of cuts right through because sometimes there'll be a little bit of a thicker grain somewhere and I'd rather just give the laser beam a little bit of extra time to do another pass than me have to fiddle with the razor blade on the back side trying to cut through it all. So cutting the rest of it's going to take about four and a half minutes. Hopefully that made it through. Mostly there. Look at the nose popping through. Right here, there must have been something in the wood. But that's a nice clean cut. Okay, well, so I couldn't find any half-inch wood within arm's reach, so I found this uh, three-quarter inch thick piece of poplar. It feels pretty hard to me. Technically, it is a hard wood. Uh, not going to be the easiest thing to cut through, but well, I'm feeling crazy. So I set it to 350 millimeters a minute, 20 passes. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should set a little more, but I've got it focused at about 25 millimeter focal length that way I mean that focal points a little bit as well as deep as it can go in there and nozzles like a millimeter off the edge of the wood and well I mean directly we'll see how well and deep that beam can pierce
Wow, so miraculously there is smoke and light coming through it. So there might be hope. Uh, I think it's only a minute 45 to do. Yeah, a minute 45 to do those 20 passes. So we'll just give it 20 more. See, that's 40 passes. And I mean hey, they're pretty good on the horizontal lines, not so much on the vertical ones here. I don't know if I can break it through. But this was definitely pushing it. I'm surprised it was actually able to get through some of the way through. Okay, so this is absolutely insane. Uh, I, I did a little bit of cutting from the behind, but look at this thing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a quarter inch thick piece of solid poplar wood. Look at this, almost 20 millimeters. And it was only on the one side here. And maybe a little bit over here that it was struggling. That's because it's still a rectangular beam coming out. But that spot compression technology, wow, look at this. Unbelievable, I thought I was crazy. When I was trying to cut <laughs> three-quarter wood with this, you can even see the grains through the sides, nice, still caramelized. And I ran it at 40 passes at 350 millimeters a minute, but that took about less than four minutes to do. It was a minute 45 for every 20 pass interval. And here is a little blowout. But this is <laughs> three quarter wood. I just here I did quarter inch and that was no problem at all. That's that's easy. There we go. Gave this dude an eyeball. It's right through. How cool is that? <laughs> 